In this resin tutorial, I'll show you how I made this custom memorial artwork with ashes. Now my customer sent me these ashes for her memorial art piece and also the shells. I start first by just getting these ashes ready by placing them into this little plastic cup and putting them to the side for now. And I've mixed my art resin and I'm ready to pour it on my board which I actually spray painted earlier about a week ago I wanted it to be fully dried now my lovely customer is currently traveling around Australia spreading the ashes of her loved ones around the country and she has sent me these shells that she's collected on her travels now how special is that so she asked if she could make this piece out of them using blue and gold I also spray painted the shells like the board and now for some extra beautiful energy, I use these clear quartz crystals by Lares, and I'll just drop those into that wet resin as well. Now make sure you stick around and keep watching because the ashes get placed on later on in the piece and also I write some initials of the loved ones onto the shells. For now, I'll place down this sprinkle this diamond dust by Lares Expressions, a gold color which is perfect for this piece and now some gold metal powder. And with the heat gun, I can blow it onto that metal powder and it breaks it up. You'll see how it creates this lovely lacing. It's just a stunning effect. I always do that before I place down the white wave. So that way I'm not disrupting my wave. And just when I thought I was finished with this section, this part of it, I forgot the cute little shell that's just so amazing from the customer. I'm just going to try and find a little spot here for it because I really think deserves to be on there look at that it's so beautiful it's incredible so now I've got the composition sorted I can get on with my wave and I'll use this angel white by Lares and I did mix it I always mix it immediately once I've stirred my resin and I let it sit in the cup while I'm working and even additional 5-10 minutes so it's thick now I use my heat gun to blow it out and my heat gun set to about a medium heat so it's not too hot so it's not going to burn the resin but there's enough heat in there to activate that lacing. You can see how it's blowing the line of gold up. I love that look how it pushes that gold up the top. That's what I was hoping would happen so yay it's worked. And I love using the combination of angel white and art resin because they pair beautifully together in getting that lacing. Not all resins are compatible with the white, so just keep um, experimenting until you find one that actually has lacing because I know that's an issue for a lot of people who are reaching out to me um, with their concerns that they're not able to get the lacing in their waves. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I've just got my blowtorch to pop the bubbles. It's perfect for popping any little bubbles. Now I just want to finish off with this white before I go um, sprinkling on those ashes I want to get it pretty much finished before I get to that stage and you can already see that lacing forming in the waves that I just blew out and the more you watch this the more you'll see it you'll notice how it doesn't happen straight away you've just got to leave it maybe 10 minutes I find and then it really comes out and starts to activate now I'm just going to sprinkle more of that beautiful gold diamond dust by Lares on here first before I pour on the ashes. And my lovely customer has given me permission to share the story of her loved ones and her father had passed away from pneumonia, her brother died from suicide and her mother from breast and bowel cancer. So we have three human remains and also one pet. And you can see that I'm just gently sprinkling that on over the white wave so you can see it and it also mixes in with some of that gold glitter so it looks really pretty and it's just a beautiful way to celebrate them and you can still see it's not like they're hidden in sand where it's all mixed with sand you can actually see the ashes which I think is amazing now some of it were, does drop down and about an hour later I come back and I I babysit it and then I come back and I sprinkle a little bit more on just to make sure that it is sitting on top like it's nice to have some of it sinking down and also some sitting on top so you can really see it and this is that relaxing stage where you can sit back now the hard work's done you get to just play around a bit and 
do some fine tuning and just drop more of that white in and spread it around in just some little areas in those pockets. I just love the way it looks on that dark blue. It's just so striking. Not to mention that beautiful gold spray paint. I mean, that was amazing. And I always use spray paint that's light fast, so it means it's not going to fade. And so to protect it from dust, I'll cover it up with this box overnight. And the next day, I'll sand it back before I pour on a clear top coat of resin. So I'm mixing my art resin here equal parts, and I love it because it doesn't have any VOCs or fumes. Now, if you're wondering why I'm pouring a clear top coat, it's to protect the ashes. It's so that they're completely covered with resin. You know, this is just one of the many ways my customer has celebrated her loved ones with these ashes. I've never heard of this before, but she actually, they made fireworks out of the ashes and celebrated with their friends and family. I mean, how amazing is that? And then she's also travelled around the country, Australia, spreading the ashes because it was something that her parents always wanted to do and she documented every scatter with a video and she's sharing that with all her friends and family. So I guess now she'll have this video as well to share. So I feel very honoured. I feel very happy to have been able to made this for her. It's really something, creating art with meaning is just something that I really love to do. And now using the blowtorch to pop the bubbles and then I'll cover it up with that cardboard box and leave it overnight. Now that it's hard, I can work on my drawing on or writing on these initials. The A is for Adam, her loved one, and the P is for Pauline. The customer did ask me to include the initials and I think it's just such a great idea because it just really personalises the piece and just infuses the energy of them into the piece even more. And this one is J for James. And I'm just using acrylic paint. So it's metallic gold acrylic paint. And this is K for Kira. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this journey unfold as much as I have. My name's Michelle Tracy. Thank you so much for watching.